what's going on guys? Welcome to the Winner G Podcast. My name is Derek Uvienko, and ironically, we are here at the Win, filming the Winner G Podcast. And that was not planned, actually. And uh, I'm Kyron Holden, first of many of the Winner G Podcast. Yeah. So. Welcome, welcome. So, let's dive straight into it. Um, let's do it. Where were you born? I was born in Queens, New York. Queens? Queens, New York, yeah. Brothers. I'm not sure which hospital. There's a lot of backstory with that too, but I'm not sure where exactly, but I know it's Queens. Cool. Yeah. Brothers, sisters? Yes, I have uh, one brother. I have like four sisters. Pretty, yeah. big, pretty big fam? It's a whole gang. Whole gang? So how was it like for you <coughs> growing up as a kid? Growing up as a kid, um, it's a very, it's not a typical upbringing. I feel like most people don't really have typical upbringings, but like I live with my sister for the most part. Like my mom passed. So I lived with my sister, so it was, it was, it was... How old were you when your mom passed? Uh, 12. Got Get into trouble? Uh, yeah, a fair amount. Yeah. But, but not, not, not as much as I could have gotten into. Yeah. What was the most trouble you got into as a kid? <sighs> the most trouble? Uh, hmm. You ever got arrested? As a kid? No. But you got arrested? Yeah, as an adult, yeah. For? Huh? What happened? Uh, got DUI before. While I was in the Navy still, I also had some other shit going while I was in the Navy, but it was, I wasn't arrested, but I was like under an investigation, <laughs> basically. How, when did you join the Navy? Back in 20, no, 2009, I went to boot camp in 2009. What was your first job? My first, okay, I had a homeboy, like he had, a, his dad's friend had a fucking construction company basically, so he would take us to like, we'd go demolish houses and shit like that, we'll go inside the house, like clean it out, take off the moldings, mm -hmm. and then we also went to like, uh, like the cement, I don't know, like cement factory, but we used to paint the fucking tanks of water. That was like my first job. It was like yeah. unofficial. So you guys be going like super high up? Yeah, we had like harnesses and shit. That's kind of scary. And I was like, what, it was 18? A little 18. scary, no? So then after that, you joined the Navy or? Oh, uh, uh, like that wasn't my plan initially. Like I didn't go to college right after high school. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like bullshit and I wanted to like be a fighter. So I was going to like a fucking like, boxing gym for a little bit. But then I stopped doing that shit and I was kind of just like, Doing that little side job and partying pretty much for like a good year after high school. And my sister kicked me out. <laughs> yeah. How old were you when she kicked you out? Mm, I think I was, I was 18. 18. Okay. So as a kid growing up, what did you what were you what did you want to be? What did you have some uh, when I was when I was like when I was super young, I used to always want to become a lawyer. I just thought it was like a cool job to have. I took some classes, like a like a law class when I was in junior high school, high school? I think it was junior high school. And then like me seeing like the like the fucking inner workings of being a lawyer, like how much reading it requires, how much like it's not as glamorized as it is on TV. Yeah. I figured that I didn't want to do that anymore. And then like kinda of transferred over to like wanting to be a, a fighter. Yeah. So did you fight for a little bit or? No, I, I just trained basically. I just uh, trained. Yeah. Never got it to an official fight. But like not like a sanctioned fight. So when did the competing come around? Uh the comp the competing didn't start until I was in the Navy. I was uh stationed one with Marvin Moss. Uh, he was already doing shows, and at that point in time, I got the DUI, I really couldn't do shit. Mm -hmm. All I could do was like, go to work and go back home. But I would put my uniform in my car, so like, every time I went to the gym, I'd put my uniform in my car, so if the cops stopped me, I could just say, I'm going to work. Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So then you started competing around what? What year is that? I think 2015, I did my first show. So, let's talk a little bit about your competing history. Mm-hmm. Kind of like your shows, like when my first show with the uh, the Border States Classic. That was a uh... Border States. I did that show. Did you really? 2012. A word? When That's crazy. I did it 2015. That was your first one. First one. Damn. Yeah. It's so like at, at that point I didn't have a coach, so I like fucking monsters help people like posing and shit. Kind of tell me what I should eat for peak week, and then and then you're the number three in the world now. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so 2015. Was yeah. your first show Border States, mm -hmm. and then you did, what was your first national show? First national show was uh, USA's in 2016. 2016, so the next year you did 2016, what did you place? Third. Third? Yeah, third. That was that. And like, that shit was crazy because like, I, I was still coaching myself at the time. Yeah. And like, so I didn't know what to expect, but I just figured like, I, I won fucking two local shows, that means I'm probably ready, but just, I love, I think me, I think me and Moss went to that same national show to get our fucking he, pro card. Moss do. He got his pro card. 
Uh, you, you got a pro card. But like, I, I, that'd be happy for him. I was like, fuck, like, to be so close. Yeah. I was like, fuck. So. Mm-hmm. But like that, all that was so close, and it kind of like, it, it, it didn't just discourage me. I was like, fuck, I'm going to go to Miami. And so I just fucking, I went to Miami right after and got fourth there. So yeah, July, for those that don't know, <clears throat> third is one spot away from your pro card. So it's kind of like one of those times where it's like, like so here's your bucket. pro card, but uh, let me take it right back. Like, the, like this, dang, this, like this, this, this close. So you get third July, oh, you go to Miami, and then you get fourth. Yeah. You do worse. I did exactly I did that worse. Thing. Okay, I felt good. I did worse, but I felt like I looked better. That was one of those better at, I, at Miami. Miami show. Exactly, I looked better at Miami. So like, it, it showed me a lot because that that fucking Miami show was fucking stacked. There were like forty something people in that class. So it was bigger than USA. It was way bigger than USA. So that made me feel good. Like I didn't get my pro card, and like it showed me that I really wanted this shit because I didn't have no sponsors. I just I paid for that shit myself. Right. Booked the, like, and I really it was one of like, the first times where it was something that I pursued on my own. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like that taught me a lot about myself. So it really it, I wasn't discouraged. I was fucking more hungry after that. Even though I placed worse. With the, the amount of people that was in that class, I felt good because I felt like I looked better too. Yeah. So. Just a bigger class. How many people were in your class, you think? Like, like, they're like 40 something. Had to be like that fucking 40 Those shows were like super, yeah. super stacked. And it was class D, you're not class yeah, D. Class, class D is fucking the, the average height, exactly. Like class A and class D, simply fucking stacked. So, 2016, you do July, you get third. Miami, yeah. you get fourth. Mm-hmm. What's the next one after that? Uh, 2016? 2017. So what happened between 2000, what was that? Oh, that was the next year. Yeah, so this is 2015, I did my first right, show. Right, right, right. And, and then, 16, I, and then, and then those two. Exactly, so I did a show in October, did another show in December, then I did another show. Did you win both of your shows? My, my first two shows I won. Overall? Overall. Okay. And then I did my third show, and I got like fourth place. A regional show? A regional show. Uh, you remember Bryant, CX Bryant? That's he fucking. Oh, he shredded. He came in fucking. He won the overall. I was he like, came shredded. He always. He's not big, but he comes in. He fucking it, like at that. He was one of the first guys who I seen come like, like that's fucking nutty. Yeah. Like how fucking conditioned he was. You know what I'm saying? I think that was, was a muscle contest show. It was a muscle contest show. I think things with TJ Mind, Gravity too at the time, yeah. right? Mind yeah. you, the z- the regional shows <coughs> are not about being the biggest. Yeah, it's you about being fucking in. lean. About being conditioned. Dicey. Basically. So then, 2017, you did USA, and that's where you turned pro. Yeah. You only did one national show that year. Uh-huh. You did nothing before that. That's the number before that. I, I, I fucking like, and my whole thing was, I wanted to go pro before I got out of the Navy. Cause I was like, okay. I you, hate, when were you supposed to get out of the Navy? I got out of the Navy in 2017. So basically, like, I was trying to get my pro card in 2016. That's why I fucking did USA's, and I did Miami. Miami. I didn't fucking get it, so I was like, fuck, I'm gonna wait till next year. And I got out of the Navy in March. And that was that's when when I was deciding like am I gonna fucking like try to get like a regular job? Mm-hmm. Am I gonna do the FAA? Like what do I want to do? But I was like you know what? I'm gonna give this shit one more one more shot. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna work and I'm gonna prep and see if I can fucking make it happen. And that shit worked out. 2017, Mr. Yeah. USA. Mm-hmm. What were you doing in the Navy? Oh, uh, the aircraft controller. Okay. It's not this guy's. I don't do that shit. Oh. Yeah. You, <laughs> you don't do the 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 nah. the laser shows? No, nah, I don't do that. No disrespect to anybody. Yeah, that does the, it. the ABH is out there. No like, offense. Like ABH, ABF, <laughs> <laughs> so, 2017, Mr. USA, you turned pro. You're in the big leagues now. What was your fir- first pro show? My first pro show, I think, was like a week right after oh, I turned so you went pro. Straight. Yeah, it was straight. Like it, I think at USA, it's like once I fucking went, once I won. I think, How did that feel when you won that one? You didn't only win your pro card. He won the entire show. How did that feel? It should, it should fuck a movie. It should fuck a movie. It was like, to come, you almost miss, you fucking, you almost get it, you miss about yeah. one spot, and you wait, you come back the next year, you take, like, yeah. I don't know, that shit felt, it, it was a good ass feeling, man. Yeah. It, was, it was good, good feeling, it was a good feeling, for Very sure. Very big accomplishment. Very big. Yeah. So then, what, first pro show? First pro a show. A month later, you said? Uh huh. A month later? No, I was like, it was like, either it was a week or two weeks. Oh, I, I don't want to exaggerate it. it. It was fucking right after. Because I remember fucking, um, I think Moss called me when I got my pro card. And he was like, you gotta do that show next week. Do, it, it, it was, I, I forgot what he said exactly. He was like, yo, trying to do that show. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, I don't think I'm ready for that shit. And then Terry called me right after. He was like, let's, let's do that show. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I was like, no, nah, I don't think I'm ready. Yeah. He's like, nah, let's be on, be on, do it. And I fucking, fucking did that shit. And, I, and like, the entire time, like, the entire time in my head, I'm like, I'm about to get washed right now. Like, I'm not fucking ready to be on the same stage as you dudes. Mm-hmm. 
and I fucking won that show. What like, show was it? It was the Sack Show. The Sacramento nice. show, yeah. Nice. Like, I was in my head a lot about that show. I was like, fuck, I'm fucking little. As always. As always. <laughs> I'm fucking, like, I'm like, I'm critic. little as fuck, man. Like, Number one critic is yeah. yourselves. So 2017, you won your first pro show. But but what's funny about that shit, crazy, because like I had this, that feeling like I wasn't ready to be on the pro on the pro stage. I won the show, but then there's a picture that came out uh-huh. where I, my my lat wasn't flared, so I look like they took a picture and that shit. Oh, like trash. the worst picture ever. And and like that that shit really, I won the show, got the fucking check, got yeah. the trophy, but the picture they on used- the fuck. fucking bugged the shit. Out. You see people in the comments like, how the fuck did he win? How the fuck did he win? I was like. And, and like I, I qualified for Olympia, and but it was like fucking we. It was like two months after, like a month or two months, like uh, that shit. July. July is so three months. August no two months. August. September. Yeah, but basically, so 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 I had no time to re- make right. any real improvements. Still Nash at the time, and I was like, fuck. Like I'm excited to make because it's a big honor to make it, but I know I'm not gonna like not to be down on myself. I'm known. I don't. I'm, I don't my, my my physique isn't there yet. You right. know what I'm saying? But I still prep. I still gave that shit my all. Like I'm fucking like, at least come condition. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, I prep for that show, prep for the Olympia, whatnot, and how'd it go? I got like well, first I, this is first Olympia 2017. Yeah, right? first Olympia 2017. I think it will. Oh yeah. Where'd you like, place? Got like, okay, I'm looking third. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. He, he stumbled at all. That's wrong. That's wrong. Cause I'm trying to see if I'm like. I think I started taking like Anavar. Fucking fucking what like. I did like 20 days of Anavar or something like that, and I stopped like a good like two weeks before the show. Uh huh. And like, so it didn't really do much, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, I got like 16th place in the Olympic, but it was like a third 16, because they stopped, you know, they, they, stopped, stopped, they, they stopped scoring so at 16, he, and that was like a third 16. He was basically at the, the bottom of the barrel. The, yeah, the bottom of the barrel. Bottom, bottom. So 2017, yeah. first Olympia, placed dead last. What happened after that? And then. I was like, yo, I, it's time to fucking like level up. Time to fucking turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. So uh, then I, I, I went on an off season, determined to fucking grow, and like the next time I step on stage, like make some fucking noticeable improvements. Yeah. But yeah. That what, was was my, the, what was the next show after that? The next show was like the uh, Los Angeles Championships, I think, LA Championships. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was LA, obviously. And I placed fifth out there. And like, I, I felt good because I still placed top five at a fucking like a. Big show. It's, it's a pro show, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it feels good to still play the top five, but me seeing the pictures and like seeing like, I think, Dr- what, Andre, Dre? I think he got like, I don't know if he got first or he got fourth, or something like, shit like that. But just seeing the difference in physiques, like how, how dry and hard he was and like compared to me, how fucking like watery. I, I, yeah. it, it did, it was very clear how I needed to come in next time. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it was a big learning lesson. That was probably one of my biggest lessons. Like, yo, don't, don't ever fucking, don't slack. Fucking make sure, make sure you're fucking like on top of your cardio. You, you don't want to look fucking like right. soft next to everyone else in their fucking like harder stone. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what would you say is your first, your biggest win? My my biggest win right now. When did you get your? Oh, you did your first show. You won first yeah. pro show. Mm-hmm. So that, what what was your biggest win in the IPU? My I think the New York Pro. Cause I, I I think that was like my. What year was that? That was 2019. 20, 20, 2019. 20, yeah, 2019. How many shows did you do in between that 2017 IFBB until New the New York Pro? Yeah. Oh shit! I did that 2018 year. I did did the LA. You got fifth. Fifth, okay. and then I did San Diego. Uh, what? A month after. That was the Night of Champions. Yeah. Didn't you win that one? I won that one. And so, then, okay, that one. That one was a fucking good show because it was like everyone from San Diego, obviously, yeah. like all everybody. So like everybody shit like that's in that fucking little San Diego bubble of competitors. Yeah. Everybody was fucking doing that show. So it was like, this is like this is like the battle for San Diego, right? Right, now. right. Yeah, you know I mean, so like that shit lit a fire in my ass. I was fucking like, it, it showed you a lot about yourself. You know what yeah. I mean, like when I was fucking tired and fucking mad, I was like fucking doing extra cardio. Like I'm not fucking making the same mistake. Right. I'm gonna come fucking shredded. I'm gonna give a fuck people are bigger than me. I'm gonna come so fucking on point. And like. And it was, like, it, was a, it was a good number of people there. It was like 30 yeah, fucking heads of that show. That. So, that's the one Andre did, right? Smith? Yeah, yeah, it was. Third or second. Th- yeah, I think like so, that. yeah. Because cause he had done, he'd done like a, uh, an overseas show right before that, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, one thing I didn't include in this is like, okay, after the Olympia, right? For me feeling like I did. First Olympia? Yeah, 2017 okay. Olympia. After me feeling like, because you know the rule was you, you win one show and you're in? Right. So, with that rule, 
you can fucking win a show by a fluke. I'm not saying win a show by a fluke, but you win a show with not a lot of people at or something yeah. like that, or just fucking like sneak Smaller in there. Show, yeah. And you don't really deserve to be up there. You know what I'm saying? And like that's how I felt. I honestly felt I didn't deserve to be at the Olympia just yet. Right. So like me going to Olympia, I fucking placed last or whatnot, placed fucking third, number sixteen, and I, and then they changed the rule. They changed the rule to fucking like, okay, you points. don't you don't win one show and you're in. You yeah. change the points so that this way you fuck people who make it there really deserve it. Right. And I really felt like I was like, dude, it's me. I don't know if that's like some fucking. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if that's some fucking like arrogant yeah, 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 shit. Like yeah. you changed the whole rule for me, but it's like, like I got into my own head like, right. Do they? Because I think oh, what a thing they like they want to fucking like bring the caliber of physique yeah, up, and I was yeah. like. Dang, probably talking about my trash ass physique. <laughs> like, that, that's how I felt. So it was yeah. like, so me going into the next season, I was like, all right, change the rule. Like, I want, I'm gonna fucking make it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it this time inside the fucking. So that was my whole like thought process for the next year. It's like, I'm that was, gonna, this is 2018. 2018. So I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna keep on doing show after show after show after show until I make enough points to make it. You know what I'm saying? So like, that was my fucking motivation. So me, get, I, got, I, I racked up a couple points at yeah. the LA. And then and I, racked up, I racked up a good amount of points at uh, San Diego, and what I think, next? and then we did Sacramento in a mod one. Remember that one? Oh yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we did Sacramento. I did Sacramento. And you it was got like, second that one. Right? I got I got yeah. second. That got me some more points, but it was still iffy. It was like you got you got. So that was your third pro show that year. Third pro show. So okay. at that point, it was fifth place, first place, and second second place. So mod. Huh? <laughs> to, 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 <laughs> two of a PFLS <laughs> athlete. Yes. He watched me, but wait, there's more. Because the San Jose show was a month after that. Oh yeah, yeah. that's when you you won that one. I won that one. And then did Ahmad compete that? I forgot. Yeah. What did he place? I think he plays in the second or Something third. Like like, so you won in what July? That was. Yeah. So yeah, so, so I won it one in July. So that was your. No, fourth? that was June. That was June. It was the end of June. Okay. Yes. So what number show was that? That was four. That was so four yeah, for the year. Fourth, okay. That was my fourth show for the year. And then at that point, so so me winning yeah, that. Yeah, points by then. So me winning that San Jose show that yeah. fucking secured my spot. I was yeah. in. Um, yeah, I was in. So then I I felt good for making it back. And, so, and my whole point that right. season was I don't give a fuck. I'm making it back. Yeah. Because I, I felt me obviously being in my head, I, I felt they changed the rule because my my physique was trash. Yeah. That made it to Olympia too fast. You know what I mean? So. I wanted to make it back with the point system. Right. Made it back, and I was, I was, I was excited about that. You know what I'm saying? So I went to prep for the Olympia. And then this is 2018 Olympia now. 2018 Olympia. Yeah. And then how did that go? I got sixth place. Nice. So I went. I saw one from the third. Six to sixteen. The, the third number sixteen. Sixteen to six. Sixth place, and like I, I wanted to crack top five like so fucking bad. So like after that I was like, like and you know how like before it was like. You're done. Like after like twelve o'clock, you're done pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So you have the rest of the day to fucking just chill. But it felt good to fucking like be noticed up there and like people are like, oh shit, he's like a contender. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, that, that that definitely felt good. So 2018 Olympia, you got sixth. Yeah. How did that feel coming off the stage? It, fe- it felt it felt good from like, 16 to six. That's big. If you know, it felt great, but it's not what you wanted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like and that's that's always that's always how it goes. Like yeah. To the world, it's like, Yo, that's fucking dope, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't want six, I, want, I, I wanted to crack top five. Like, my whole plan, I was like, I wanna fucking crack top five, I wanna crack top five. It was like, it was exciting, it was like definitely exciting to fucking make it back. That was my first fucking accomplishment, like, right. goal accomplished. But I wanted to crack top, I wanted to see if I can crack top five. So, me making just one step, it's like, it's very similar to the fucking, like, the uh, USA story, where I yeah. just, I'm one away from what yeah, I wanted yeah. to do, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But, um, yeah, I, I, it felt, felt good. Initially, I was mad, I was soft because I didn't get fucking top five. Yeah. But at a sudden, I'm like, damn, I, I did good. Like, still accomplishment. And like, it, definite sixth. accomplishment. Yeah. Definite accomplishment. I, was, I, I felt good after that. Do you feel you deserve sixth? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the one to go and like, oh, shit on someone's physique. I feel like if, if the judges seen something that they, they like better. And at that point, I felt like I wanted to get fucking top five, but I felt like everybody who played before me, they, they deserved it as well. What you know what I'm saying? What do you think you needed to work on that time when you I, got sixth? But I, I feel like I needed, needed more size. I think I definitely just needed to be fuller in certain areas. I think I was shredded. That was definitely fucking like shredded, but yeah. I, I just wasn't big enough. I wasn't big enough, and like the quality of my muscle wasn't there yet. It yeah. wasn't mature enough. wasn't hard enough. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you can tell it's a very new physique. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Brandon won it that year, mm-hmm. and then you get sixth, and then 2019 comes around for your IFBB season. Mm-hmm. How did that year go? What, what did you? 
Okay. What shows did you do? <clears throat> the shows that I did for the 2019 season, like, okay, my mindset now going into this season was, all right, I did all the West Coast. I did pretty much every West Coast show. Right. I did Sacramento, San Jose, fucking LA, San Diego, obviously. So I did all the fucking West Coast shows. I was like, I have to get on to the East Coast and do those bigger shows. Right. So my plan was the Arnold, Pittsburgh Pro, New York Pro. So um, got started for the... Um, Arnold for, for the Arnold, and obviously this is my first time doing the Arnold. I I I, I missed the fucking deadline for the Arnold. Act. Like the fucking the, the sign up. Uh-huh. I missed the deadline and fucking like Terry called me fucking like Fred like bro, your name not on the list. I wake uh-huh. up like fuck. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I had to like I had to fucking send an email to the lady and whatnot like yeah. who, who, who's in charge of that shit. Right. And I spoke on the phone and she was like, well that's what you're talking about. I actually like I think I just do email do email yeah, correspondence yeah, yeah. like. I emailed that she was like, oh, you got six to the Olympia last year? Yeah, of course we want you. Like, you, you definitely, like, you pass the qualification standards to, to qualify yeah. for the Arnold. So we'll just give us your information and we'll fucking put you on the list. So then, like, initially people was like, where's Kyron's name? Where's Kyron's name? Not doing Arnold? But then they put my name on the list later on. So it was like, okay. Okay. I, 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 if I would have fucked that up for just not being on top of my shit, I would have really upset at myself. But gladly, luckily, they were able to fucking put it on there afterwards yeah. and whatnot. But, yeah. So then you do the Arnold, how did that go? That that went pretty fucking well actually. I got third place to the Arnold. And Andre won it that year. Yeah, Andre won it that year. I think he fucking came in smoking yeah, that year for looking, sure. He looked good. Like that one, the, sure. the, like the, that, that one was probably one of his best mm-hmm. looks. He's fucking like polished. Yeah. Um Raymond got second, then I got third. What I what I did notice about that one is like my tan was so like I don't know who did I don't know who did fucking Raymond and Libra's tan, but that shit was like it was on. What what do you feel you needed after that show? After playing oh, third, conditioning. I just, I just need to like. You sh- want to shred of that show? I, just, I feel like if I would have had sharper conditioning, I'd like, you got it. It'd been a, it'd been a fucking uh, a tougher battle. You know what I'm saying? Know, Andre uh, comes in with yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So, that so like conditioning. So moving moving forward, I was like, okay, this t- I had the size at this point. Like me, because bodybuilders were always in our head about the size. Like, yeah, I get bigger, I get bigger. That's yeah. not always. That's not always what's going to do it for you. You nope. know what I'm saying? Uh, you, know, you know what? I had the size. Let me not worry about that too much. I'm gonna come in fucking shredded. I have to come in sharp, and that that'll fucking win it for me. So I did Pittsburgh. That was like May, May early yeah. early May. Yeah. I got second there. It was me, me and Raymond, and like after the Arnold, that was like so Olympia, right? I get sixth place. Mm-hmm. Now you start this new season. That shit's erased. Yeah. In my mind, yeah. Done. Olympia is erased. Everything I did last year is erased. It's a fucking fresh start. And you see people can do well one year and fucking be trashed oh, the next year. Yeah. I never want to be that fucking person. So it's like, it's every every chance I feel like you have to prove yourself again. Yeah. So going into the Arnold, I was like, I, I don't want to fucking play six and just fucking vanish. Yeah. So you, I had to fucking make sure that I, I prep my ass off. So me getting that third place spot at the Arnold, I feel like, dang, okay, now yeah. I can breathe a little bit. Like it wasn't a fluke. That right, six place right, wasn't right. a fluke. I belong in the, in the, like the top tier of the sport or whatnot. So now me going into fucking uh, Pittsburgh Pro had more confidence. Like, I got the size now. Like, you people, you're being respected in the sport. Mm-hmm. And then, then it was like the top two. It was me, me, me and Raymond. Raymond got first. I got mm-hmm. second. Um, I, th- I think he came in on point for that show. He definitely yeah. came in on point. I think I was close. I was yeah. definitely close to him. Just not um, there yet. Just de- yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, so from the Arnold to Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. What do you feel improved? Was it? Did you get that conditioning you wanted that show? Uh, that gets condi- somewhat. Uh-huh. So I, I was. I, it wasn't. I, I was going through shit at that time too. Like and and that can be big if you're going through. Yeah, like, like, like like that'll take away a lot of the sharpness, a lot of a lot of things. Yeah, like it was. It was, it was some shit going on in my life at the time. You know what I mean? Do you? Wanna... Oh yeah, I, I, I was. So I, what was, I was going I was, on? Well, let's I, let's, I, I, let's I, talk I, it out. I was going through a breakup. I was okay. uh, I was dating someone. Mm-hmm. Did some did some shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was found out, mm-hmm. and we, we we like initially it was a fight. It was a breakup, but then we tried to fucking make it work. Yeah. So things were fucking super tense. I I was like fuck. I think that shit happened. Like her finding out that shit happened maybe like two weeks before the, the Pittsburgh Pro. Mm-hmm. So like we were living together at the time. Oh. So like, Ugh. we separated. I wasn't like living there anymore. So I was fucking like staying with a friend for a little bit, mm-hmm. and like having to fucking try to prep and still fucking like take her shit somewhere. Else. It was yeah. it was just a lot yeah. of shit going on. Like I, 
I still try to remain like remain focused through it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it was just a lot of shit going on. I still think I came in pretty good, but then like me and her, we still went to Pittsburgh together, yeah. mm -hmm. trying to make it work. It was shit was tense, and we were fucking arguing left and right the entire time oh. in Pittsburgh, like nonstop, like yeah. beefing. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, that type of stress that is not good for you. I was trying, I was also trying to find like a breakfast spot. Like you know how like the day of the show you go yeah. find. I fucking drove around for like a whole hour in Pittsburgh. More stress. Couldn't fucking find a spot. I ended up getting a fucking double cheeseburger. I mean, no, a fucking a burger from uh -huh. McDonald's to fucking like have like that Eat big. Something, yeah. Exactly. I was, I was like, so I, I, I was feeling like, damn, I'm about to fuck this away right now. Mm -hmm. I'm about to fuck this away. I, I still place, sit, I still, I still place second at that show. Yep. But I was like, my mind was not there at all. My mind was not there. And then came back. And then I had the New York Pro plan, and I was, was that, like a week or two. After? It was a week after, yeah. so I flew, flew back to San Diego. We started working together before. We, yeah, and I, I, was, I was gonna get to that. Me, and, I, I reached out to you, the Arnold. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, and, but, but, but it, it wasn't. It was like it, it, after it, the Arnold, like before. No, it, it was leading up to. It was leading up oh, to. Oh, okay. Arnold. Yeah, That's yeah. when we started. Like, you, you started giving me tips. When yeah. like, hey, I think you should try this, add this, don't do that. A little yeah. more cardio. You started, but then I started to fucking like. Lead a little bit heavier on you, yeah. For the Pittsburgh Pro, mm -hmm. and then the New York Pro. I think the New York Pro was when I was like, yeah, DJ, like I just need the extra guidance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and like that's when like my New York Pro package is probably one of my best package that today. Like I, I like I was proud of that. Like I was like, damn, I look granny, I look hard as fuck. <laughs> that's a big show. And, 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 and like, and the thing was, it was it's home. Yeah, that's the first time nice. any of my family got to see me fucking like oh, compete, and it was everybody, like nice. all my sisters, my brother, like nice. my whole family came to see me in the city I'm from. That's yeah. like, and and I win that show. That's so. And, and like me, me and Alyssa, like we were like we were we were a little bit better at that time. Like we, uh -huh. we like after the after the initial fucking like shit happened, and we we're fucking beefing in Pittsburgh. New, the New York trip was much better. Like she met my family. Like we, 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 we were, like we were much better. It was it was less stress. Yeah. Because I went out there initially by myself, and then she came up the day of the show, like the day before the show, something like that. So this way, we weren't just together the entire time while it was like right. peak week. Yeah. Just irritating the fuck out of each other. You know what I mean? So it, it, it was, like that felt good because everything that was going on to go home, have my family see me, and to win that show in my state, I was like, yeah, that's a good feeling. This is dope. And like on a, on an energetic level, yeah, I felt like since everything came out, like I wasn't hiding shit no more. I wasn't lying anymore. It was like you got a lot, I felt, majority of the stress out. Majority of the stress out. I right. felt like my energy was more pure at that point. Right, right. You know what I'm saying so. It was like, and that that's the show I win. That's the show my family's there. That's like yeah. it was like night and day from Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah. So that was. New York Pro win, and then after that, next was Olympia, right? Yeah, so after New York Pro, I, that was like May... And, 2019. And, and another little tidbit, the New York Pro, the May 17th, was the day before the New York Pro, and that was my birthday. birthday. So it was my birthday. Damn, all levels. B birthday? That's was home, lot. family see me, and, and get the dub. That's a whole lot of winners. That's, there you go. So that's a whole lot of winners, bro. Like, let's that's go. That's a lot of winners right there. That's like everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. Um... So then Olympia comes around after. And then Olympia comes. And then? Okay, that, after New York Pro, maybe like, like I said, me and Liz was trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. But then after we came back from New York, we're now like shit just starts to go bad again. We're fucking beefing. Mm -hmm. And like, we, we, we would like hang out with each other sometimes. We would fucking like chill with each other sometimes. But then it just, it got to a point where it was like, it was so much resentment and animosity between us that it just, it degraded even more mm -hmm. and we fucking like finally called it quits we fucking broke up mm -hmm. but then like that's when i don't know like just, I, I don't know when it got extra bad but so you guys split yeah we we split that that's when it, it came it came to a point where she was being very vocal about it on uh -huh. social media you know what i'm saying i understand you, you do what you gotta do like that's the way you vent that's the way you fucking get you handle your problems i i didn't like that shit yeah. like that that's really not my vibe to kind of put my personal business on social media. Right, right. But she put a lot of that stuff out on social media, so now it became a private thing to a very public thing. And people fuck, we, we people knew us as being together, so right. everybody fucking knew who, who I am. So when you when you say things, people know who you're referring to. Right. You know what I mean? We, we, we were separated on social media, mm -hmm. being called a narcissist, being called all type of shit, yep. which I don't, 
I think everyone has narcissistic qualities, mm. traits, so, but I, I never see myself as that. I feel like I have a big ass heart. I feel like I, I really care about people. And so, so like, like, and that's her opinion of me mattered a lot mm -hmm. because we spent a lot of time together. So like you, her saying that made me like, like, damn, like, am I? Yeah. So it, it was, it was, it was a fucking dark ass time. Cause I'm like reflect, I'm looking at my actions. I'm like, fuck, am I? I'm like a fucked up person. You know what I'm saying? Like I know what I did was fucked up. Yeah. But there, there was, there were things, there was like emotional things there that like, damn, I'm not, I'm not like a fucked up individual. Like I still cared about my ex at the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we had a, we had a relationship. We fucking lived together for a, I got, to, I got to know her fucking family as well. So like there was still emotions there. Yeah. And I wasn't intending to hurt you. I was just fucking like, I was being selfish. I was, I was definitely being selfish. But it, it made me look at myself and like maybe like really assess who I was as a person. Yeah. It made me decide who I do want to be and who I don't want to be. Long story short, like mm -hmm. that, that was the personal shit I was going through. Like, it's like, and that was like the first time I started having anxiety. I'm, I think I've always had some kind of anxiety. But I've never had like anxiety attached where I'm fucking like, I can't sit in, the, in my, I couldn't sit in my room for a while. Like I had to fucking get up and like leave because I fucking felt the wall just like Damn. closing on me. You couldn't breathe. I like, I would, I would, like, I felt like when I, I, I would fucking get scared when I had to go take a fucking dump because the bathroom, I had to close the bathroom door. You got to sit down and you fucking like just stuck. Wait, you just get like claustrophobic? Like, yeah, like I've never had that issue in my fucking life. And like I started to have that fucking problem, that, and that's when I started to like fucking like do like deep breathing and shit like yeah. that, meditation, grounding myself, because that's okay. I bought this book called Fucking Like Esoteric Empath, and they mm -hmm. talk about like sometimes you got if you got too much shit in your mind, you got too much energy fucking clogged up in you, that's how fucking anxiety and panic attacks can happen. So right. you gotta fucking like release that shit, right? Like, grounding yourself. Like I got more into that type of shit, like reconnecting with the earth and just like I had to do something. Like I, I did, like I didn't, I didn't want to tell. I don't. I didn't think I needed medication. I think it's all in your head. I, yeah. I know yeah. for a fact that all is just in your head. Yeah. So you have to you have to get to a point where you fucking like you can start to control your thoughts, control your mind. So I was like I didn't, like it was like life or death. I I, got, I was gonna get body work done. Mm -hmm. Shampoo, my first time going to shampoo. So I was gonna get body work done and like. You know how you have a little face mask where you put your face in? Mm -hmm. I couldn't even fucking put my face in it because I was fucking free. So I was like, I, was like um, I don't like to put my face in it because I just keep my head to the side. So like, she's like trying to like do body work on me and I'm like fucking like tripping out. Tripping out. <laughs> like, you like, can't even put your face in the damn yeah, Like, the Like the, the, the thing, like I tried, like, she, I don't know if she noticed anything, but I, but I, I definitely told her I could, 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 couldn't put my face in it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I like, turned sideways or whatnot. And I, I don't know if she, I don't know if she like recognized that I was kind of like going through that shit, but I was like, I, I, I need to get body work done. Mm -hmm. Like I, I need to be in the, I need to be in my room. I can't fucking like not sit still yeah. because I'm tripping out. Like so, I, like it was like I have to. And this was all because of what happened. You think? Or I, 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 I don't know if it's w because of what happened or if it just, it just. But me. that's the moment in time it happened. Th that, 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 that's when it had like so. It, it could be that's uh -huh. what triggered it. I don't want to say it's all because of that. I think it could it, be from stemming from other things. It's, right? It definitely stemmed from other things, but yeah. it was it was a time where you were where you're kind of forced to sit down and look at yourself. Right. Forced to sit down and look at yourself, and it's also like, damn, like I think there's a certain level of panic that comes with like, damn, am I a fucked up person? Like, yeah, like, right, am, right. am I seeing life fucked up right yeah. now? Like, cause I'm. If you're looking at life and you think that you're being this one way, and someone's telling you, no, you're this person. Yeah. Like. Am I fucking nuts? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I just fucking crazy because like this is how I'm looking at life and I'm not seeing that there's a problem with it? There's a certain le level of anxiety that comes with that. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So went through that shit, but I felt like me getting a hold of my mind, like me fucking breathing. For, and like, my, my form meditation is just deep breathing for fucking 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll fucking, first it start with five, I set my timer for five minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll just sit there, try to close my eyes, don't look at my phone, just, mm -hmm. just breathe in through my nose, out through my mouth, five minutes. That shit was helping mm -hmm. because if you can sit there, if you, you can sit still and control your mind to just think about your breathing. Yeah, you're ready and you just—it's not so much fighting your thoughts, but keeping your mind focused on one thing that you control your mind. Yeah, and you can control your mind in that instance. When you start to fucking freak out, you can control your mind again. Right. And so it's just like it's like just working out. It's working out my mind. So I felt like that's just like I work out my body, be working my mind that way. So I, did, I was doing that shit every fucking day, going out and grounding. I just fucking take my shoes off, go to the little little backyard that I have. <laughs> Over there in uh, where I live, mm -hmm. put my feet on the earth and just like re release all that shit. Just mm -hmm. release it. Like, <laughs> I'm, it's a little saying that I say, like, I release all things that no longer serve me back to the earth, the ultimate alchemist. Like, mm -hmm. I say that shit. It probably does nothing, but for me, it's, it's, it's a little chant that yeah. I can anchor myself in. 
to like I, okay, this this is me releasing the shit so that I don't want. That's your affirmation. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. me releasing all the shit I don't want. I don't, I don't want fucking jealousy. I don't want resentment. I don't want fucking fear. I don't want yeah. doubt. I don't want self limiting beliefs. I don't want any of that shit. In it, I'm releasing it back. Right. I don't want it no more. So like, so that's I was started doing that. Like that became my fucking ritual to do. And it was helping. I wouldn't. I wasn't tripping out. I'm like, nice. It, it, to, to, you to, can get a massage without tripping I, out. I, I, right, right now, I can literally go <laughs> boom, put my face if I need to. Yeah. To go for, and that's is just a testament to how powerful your mind is. Right. You know what I mean, like, yeah. I was fucking tripping. I couldn't sit in my room. Couldn't go to the bathroom. Couldn't put my face in tight spaces. Got to start tripping out. And then once I realized I was doing that and it was fucking working, you know how liberating that is. Like, yeah. You, yeah. You, you think that you just like discovered something. Mm-hmm. Now. Like that, and then USA's came about. Like I, so, I, I was getting a hold on it. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling way better getting a hold on it. Go to USA's, kick Olympia, shit. Me. huh? Olympia. No, no, I'm, but but before, oh. before like, USA's was a big was a big thing for me as well. Like because like that when people believe in you, you know what I'm saying? Like I spoke to you and Terry mm-hmm. at the table. Like this is the first time. I was like, yo, I want both of y'all to fucking like yeah. help me along on this fucking journey. Diets, workouts, and gear, all that shit. Like, I, I'm, both of you gotta fucking help me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And he was like, yo, I don't got nobody going right now. Be putting all the focus on you. Like, mm-hmm. let's fucking do it. That shit was like yeah, powerful as fuck to me. Yeah. That, that shit, I was like, yeah. we're gonna have fun tonight <laughs> and tomorrow and maybe on Sunday. But when we get, when I get back, it's fucking game on. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that shit, like, that, that, that did a lot for me. It was like, yo, yeah. they, they fucking believe in me. I'm not letting them down. I don't give a fuck about people who say I can't do it. I don't give a fuck. You, you think I'm a fucking narcissist. You think I'm a fucking asshole. What matters, what, what matters right now is fucking proving people who fuck with me, proving them yeah. right. That's, That's what, what matters, matters right now. Yeah. That's all that matters. So like me, me for that, and, and, and like me making, making that decision and just like feeling the energy that like my body was transforming. Like I, I looked fucking crazy now like, my body was transforming. I had my fucking my morning ritual, my morning routine. Mm-hmm. Like so, my mind is strong. My fucking body is getting stronger. I just fucking felt I was like vibing super fucking high, and like the universe is responding. Right. I felt like the universe just like 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 oh shit. Like it, it, it went from oh yeah, like Collins, he's, he's a good physique. To, like that nigga could win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like to, to yeah. go to go from like oh you might get top five to so, like here's Brandon Chiron. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I was like. Holy fuck, yeah. like. This is a whole fucking wave of energy right now behind me. Yeah. And that shit, like, it's... That was pro- that's probably what, like, that whole Olympia prep this past year was probably one of the best films I ever had. Because it was like, you conquered, you, like, you conquered something that you were quiet about. Right. But, like, this is a battle you fought by your fucking self. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, and you conquered that shit, now the universe is responding to you with fucking, like, give you the, the energy towards you, like, you feel better, you feel stronger, and, like, I really thought I could take that shit. I was like, I don't give a fuck about how many followers I have. I don't give a fuck about politics. I can take this shit. Mm-hmm. I can take it. Like, and once I fucking felt like I could take it, I was like, it's game over. <laughs> I can't tell me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell me nothing. So like, me going like, and then have both of you guys fucking yeah. like for that Olympia yeah. prep. I was like, yo, let's fucking go. Let's do this shit. Getting on stage and just like, I don't know, the, 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 that whole thing was just some powerful shit. Yeah, just some powerful. If that felt like a movie too, like just getting on stage and like, do, like. It went from me not making the top five to me being well in the top, like, right, top three. Right. Arguably, right. could have fucking won. Yeah. Like a toss-up. You know yeah, what I mean? So, yeah. like, although, like, when I, like, after it went down, like, oh, yeah, that one moment. Like, when they switched me and Brandon, mm-hmm. this was me oh, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, middle. The middle. Yeah, yeah. I was like... How did that feel? <laughs> I know, I know, Yo, I, 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 know usually, I, I usually don't, I, I usually don't fucking respond. I on stage, yeah. everybody can see, I look out like... Oh my god. Like, <laughs> this is fucking happening. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fucking wizard, son. Yeah. <laughs> like, did it end like that? Yeah. It, it, pre judging ended, ended, ended with, me, with me in the middle. They took us off. Yep. And then we all went back. And then and they, 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 we did another round. They had top us four. four. They had a top four up there. Right, then they right, had right. me. Brandon. Rip, Oh, no, no, no. Blue, me, Raymond. Raymond, Libra, Brandon. And you just kept switching you guys all around. But then, then it ended like that. I was on the end. Right. But then, remember, we, remember I, I was like, they left me in the middle during that first round of judging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, I got it. And then, and then, and then they switched it around. Yeah. And I was like, and then you were like, but look, the, the oil, they, they do that just to fuck with you. Yeah. Remember, we used to talk about that? You never know. You, you, you never know. So I was like, I don't know. I like they had me in the middle after that first round, yep. but then they fucking took me out. 
So I don't fuck out like, am yeah. I gonna win this shit right now? But me getting on stage and seeing that, yo, you can hear the, in the video, you can hear the crowd like, yeah. when they moved up, they're like, yeah. whoa! So I was like, yeah, like, this, yeah, it, it, it was fucking dope, shit. man. Like, mm -hmm. but then maybe you said, like, they had it, they had me, Raymond, Libra, Brand. I was like, yeah. And you was like, that could be the order they have you in just by, like, one, two, wait, three, wait, yeah. wait, one, two, three, yeah. four. That could be the position. So, I got off stage, I was like, I'm not gonna trip about it, I'm not gonna trip. And then we got that fucking phone call. Mm hmm. Yeah. Undescribed phone, yeah, whatever that yeah, yeah. I go too deep into it, but I was like, nah, fuck that. Yeah. I don't believe that. Don't I don't believe that shit. Don't listen to the noise. But like, yeah, I, after pre judging, I got, I got on stage, and I fucking felt like I took it, and everybody else fucking took it. They, like, yeah. everyone who watched the show was like, yo. Yeah. Mr. O, Mr. Like, yeah. that's the energy I was getting. I was like, oh, <laughs> let's go. But I, I, I wanted to keep it tight. Stay focused for fucking yeah. like for finals because this fucking yeah, main yeah. stage. Did we, yeah, we did work out after that, huh? Did we work out? We did cardio and we worked out. Oh, we we, oh, we did. We worked out and we did cardio. Yeah, well, yeah, fucking work. Did another workout yeah. and cardio after yeah. prejudging. Yeah. Went to fucking finals, fucking dicey. Now I was, I was backstage like. Feeling good. Feeling feel, confident. Like, Hell yeah, yeah. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to do some shit right now, but uh. Ended with third, which is still amazing. Ended with third, and like, I was mad. <laughs> and this yeah, day I was yeah, like, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to show that shit on stage. I was like, because it still felt like a failure to me. Because and when I decided I'm gonna take this, I can take this, Yeah. only first was on my mind. Only first was on my mind, so like, anything else was a fucking failure to me. Mm -hmm. And like, I had this little fucking, like this little paper, that I would read every day. Like, I am mm -hmm. the 2019 Mr. Olympia right. men's physique champion. And I read that shit. I didn't, I, I, I started reading it every night before bed, maybe like a good month and a half out. I, mm -hmm. I would read it every night. So I was like, and that, that was building the energy inside yeah. myself too. You know what I mean? Like, when, I, when I was fucking tired, I'm like, you remember what you said. Yeah. I, I just said this little shit last night. If I want that to be true, I have to fucking do this. So it still felt like a failure. And I also, also felt like, damn, like, the universe not listening. Mm -hmm. Like, am I? Do I not deserve this? Mm -hmm. Like, so so it's, it, it became it became one of those questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I also made peace with it because like, you prove something to yourself. You prove something to the fucking world because in, in your mind, in, in a lot of people's mind, you did win. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? I'm probably not ready for it yet. Yeah. And that's and that's like like no, like you. You're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. You're not ready for it yet. You still got more work to do. But this is this is a this is be doing good. Yeah. It's and that, this is when I do that shit. Isn't the universe talking to me? Mm -hmm. Like you did good. Just just keep. Don't fucking be. Don't don't be. Don't be salty about it. Right. Just fucking do the work. So like then, as time progressed, I was able to fucking like you know what? I I did my thing. Like I'm proud of what I, what I did. It's like like this is what you see what you made of. You you you, you double down. So. Uh, yeah, so I got that, got that third place, like, but to this fucking, and then, like, also on, on top of that, like, that Olympia prep, like, muscle and fitness hit me up, it was my first time ever being in the magazine, nice. I was like, oh, so, like, like so, so there's, there's a lot of shit that was happening energetically yeah. that was, like, I'm in for this shit, you know what I'm saying? Coming out a, a, that, a, lot, a lot of, a lot of fucking wins, it was just, like, back to back, like, <laughs> and, and well, three in the world, I mean, that's, that's big. That's for good. sure, for sure. So, so like, it, it, like that that Olympic prep, like, it taught it taught me a lot about myself. Yeah. And like, once you learn about who you are, like no nobody can tell you shit for one. Mm -hmm. And and you come and you become closer to the person you're supposed to be. So, how did you feel uh, after you got third, coming off the stage, uh, coming off the Olympic stage, getting third? How did you, how did you feel? How did I feel? Okay. Yeah. Initially, I was angry. Mm -hmm. I I was angry because I, I I set my expectations too high. After prejudging, when they moved me to the middle, I, and then they moved me to the middle, and then they dismissed us and they put us to the side after that. So I thought I had it. Yeah. So like I think I psyched myself out with thinking that I won too soon because the show's not done until finals. You know what right. I mean? I think I, I suit myself up to think that I won already. So I just I just it irritated me. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, it still felt like a failure. Even though I did well, it still felt like a failure. Mm -hmm. And um. I don't know, like, I think every competitor should, should feel this way, if mm -hmm. you're in a competitive sport. If you know you came on your A game, 
you feel like you should win. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I came on my A game. I feel like between me and Raymond, it was, it's, I think we, I think I think we were both on, mm -hmm. and I think it, it's a it's a toss up on whose shape you like better. Right. But I do think I, I should have played second. That that's just my opinion on how we came in. So you and think you look better than Andre? I think I think I did that day for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. But yeah, I mean it's 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 a subjective sport. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, what would you say? What, what does success mean to you? Success. Success is being is having the freedom to do as you please. Mm -hmm. Success is providing a life for yourself where you can get to you can explore the thing that fucking like that feeds your soul. You know what I mean? Right. Like you, you have the free like you don't have to fucking show up to a place you don't have to you don't want to be you don't have to show up to a fucking nine to five job mm -hmm. that you don't want to be at. You get you have the freedom to to pursue the things you want to in life. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like I, that's what I think success is. Success to me is freedom. Okay. Yeah. What would you say makes you? What What makes you happy? What makes me happy? Um. This, this ha having freedom, basically mm -hmm. having the freedom. Like like I, like we were talking about earlier. Like the times where I feel like I'm the most happy is when I'm just like on the road driving somewhere, like to go do something. Like mm -hmm. not not always not not always alone, but a lot of times I am alone. Like, when I get to reflect, I'm like, yo, like life is fucking good. I'm just on the road. Yeah. Like, going going to fucking accomplish something like I, that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Just just. Being fucking unchained. So after competing, because you can't compete forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know, Dexter Jackson, props to him. He's, what, 50 something now. That, that, he looks, that's, that's, still that, looks. That's a real amazing. love for the game, right? That's a real love for the game, right there, honestly. <laughs> so, but after competing, what are your plans? <laughs> I think I should have devoted more thought to this uh -huh. prior, but I'm right now, I'm so in, I'm in it. Yeah. That I don't really think after it, but. I, I do want to have, I do want to fucking like help other people have the experiences that I have. So mm -hmm. I, I do want to coach people. Nice. I want to have a fucking a solid ass fucking team of people that I'm fucking like pushing them. Mm -hmm. I, I want to put myself in a position where I have the freedom to fucking pursue other things that, mm -hmm. I, that I enjoy. Like, right. I think I think fucking acting would be dope if I can get into it. I think mm -hmm. it should be dope. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just 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 having freedom basically. Like yeah. after when I'm done this, I've done enough. To provide myself with the freedom to do what the fuck I want. Mm -hmm. How how long do you think you see yourself competing for? <laughs> it was funny. When yeah what? Like it this, this is a crazy thought. You know what I mean? But like I had the thought of like winning the Olympia once and just like vanishing. <laughs> that, that 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 like in the uh, back of my mind. Mark Anthony? Huh? Wait, no 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 not like that. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> he won one and he's out. No, but I'm, I'm talking about like like. Winning once and just like fucking traveling the world, like fucking like, but then like have people go on that journey with me too. I feel like that should be dope. Nah, nah you gotta keep running. No, no, no. And, and I, I, I know there's the realistic side of myself, and there's like that'd be dope. Yeah. The the fucking that'd be dope side is like you win that shit once. Yeah. To, like definitively. Right. And just fucking go traveling and take people on that journey with you too. Like, yeah. This is me. This is me fucking enjoying life this way. Yeah. I think that'd be cool, but I, but I know myself, I know I'm a competitive person. Yeah, you can't and I, do and, one I, and I know, huh? You can't do one. Yeah, I know. I, I'm a, I'm a wanna, I'm a have to keep, I'm a keep proving yourself kind of person. So like, I know I'm a, I'm a fucking wanna keep going. So you'd say maybe five years, six, seven. I mean, were you gonna be like Dexter Jackson and stay out there until how, like fifty? How, how much is the record right now? Like, what? But when did had that shit for how many years? Four. Four, huh? Yeah, he's gonna come five for five. Oh, coming yeah, back true, or what? True, true. You coming Where? back, my dear? Yeah, you know I mean, I'd be seeing five for five for five. I don't know though. I see. I seen the shirt. We'll yeah, see. He, he, got, he got shirts made, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay. When dear, let's see it. <laughs> um, so what? Five. Maybe five years. You see yourself competing for another ten? Calling it wait. How old are you? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Oh, you're pretty. You're still fairly young. You're not even in the thirties yet. Yeah, true. So I mean, shit. Dexter Jackson. We you know, know, hold another twenty years after that. You know, it's crazy though. Me and Buddy are the same age. Oh really? Yeah, he's twenty nine. Well, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we're the same age. Cause yeah. I'm, as I was following his career, I, I always like oh shit, we're the same age. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I think he is around the same age. Mm -hmm. If you would what, five ten? I I'm just trying to get a number out of you. What you feel right now with where you're at? Oh, how many more years of competing? Years of competing. Do you feel you would be? Say you won next year, or this year? I'm sorry, 2020. You win. How many more years would you compete for? Would you just try to keep winning and winning and winning, or nah, what? Nah, I think five years. Five? I, like just just a number, because ten sounds like that's crazy. That's fucking nuts. 
I think five years. Like I want to keep. Cause you still want to like, you know, do do, do other, other things. shit and like yeah. also you know yeah. this, this is tough on your body. Yeah. You know what I mean, like I do want to get to a point where it's like, like body's clean. You know yeah. what I mean, like like I'm yeah. Yeah. So like five years is like you solidified yourself. Like at this point, I'm at like legacy. I, I can build my legacy in the yeah. sport in five years. I think for sure. You know what I mean, and then do some other shit. What do you shit. What do you think it takes to be a winner? Or a champ like yourself. Yo, that shit, everything starts and ends in the mind. I think your mind gotta be fucking strong. You have to like be able to fucking quiet out the noise. I think you have to fucking like believe in yourself. Like that just sounds so sure. corny number and cliche. One, number one. But like if you don't believe in yourself, you don't crumble under everything. Yeah. Someone say, you don't look good. Someone someone say And that's gonna happen yo, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yo, did I ask a when lot. I first started when I when I my first show when I started gonna compete? I Wait, I never like, asked you this, sorry to interrupt. Why did you start competing and what made you want to start competing? Oh, okay, like, so, I was, I, like, I got, got, got that DUI. Uh-huh. I was, so, like. How old were you when you got DUI? 24, I Oh, that's only five years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's just still my record. Damn. <laughs> that's just still my record. Oh. But, um. Currently drinking. This thing almost. But, but, okay, I got, go, I ahead. Just, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, we're in Vegas, it's cool. Uh, it's damn. cool. It's cool. Um, but yeah, so, I guess we can, we can backtrack a little bit. So yeah. I, I had to go to AA meetings. Okay. Okay, so what's I- Alcoholic, what's AA? Alcohol Anonymous meetings. Oh, okay. So I'm a, I was the HR control of the Navy. And we have a security clearance. In order, to me, in order for me to maintain my security clearance after I got that DUI, I had to go to an alcohol program. It was like a week or whatnot, so I was like TAD for my, I think like, uh, fuck, what's that shit called? I don't, I forgot what TAD mm-hmm. stands for. Yeah. God damn. But so I wasn't even at, at my command at the time, so I, I had to go to this class, check into this class or whatnot, and they, they they talk to you about like how addiction comes about, where it stems from, and all that mm-hmm. shit. That was one of the fucking one of the things that I had to uh to do in order to maintain my clearance. So I had to do that class, and in addition to that class. I had to go to AA meetings three times a week. Wow. While we, three times a week every week for a year. While the Navy, and I also couldn't drink while I was in the Navy anymore, like, well, at yeah. all. <laughs> and like, at that point, I was drinking heavily. Before while, that. Uh, yeah, before yeah. that. So I couldn't go to command function that they were drinking. I couldn't do shit like that. So initially, I was like, I'm not an alcoholic. I just, you know what I mean, I, I like drink. Like, it, it's, it's so embedded in the culture that you just think you're, drink, you're drinking is normal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I went to A meetings, and that shit was very helpful for me because you see a lot of people from all walks of life and they're being very transparent. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of times in life, people are, oh, they always have their, their social nice. face on, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, you don't really get to see people fucking just break down and just be themselves or just yeah. fucking like talk about their fucking pain. And so to like, to get thrusted into that fucking kind of like that environment, it was very enlightening for me to like see people just like bear their fucking souls to strangers. Mm-hmm. And some of them aren't strangers, but like you have right. people, you have people coming in who had DUI. Like if you get a regular DUI out in town, I think they make you go to like one alcohol meeting like a week for like three months, some shit like that, and then you're done. But for my security class, I have to go three times a week. Oh, so like you see your job exactly. Yeah. So so you see those people come in and out, and you see the, the like the people who go there often. Yeah. And like initially, I was trying to find a meeting that resonated with me because there's a bunch of them like if you if you look at alcohols if you look up a meeting there's a bunch of them in your area yeah so you got to find one that you fuck with that's close enough to you that that's a, that's going on at the time that you need it so i always i found one that was going on from like three to five so i would go three o'clock to five o'clock they also had another meeting at five to seven but i would try to get in there at three to five and you see the same you start seeing the same familiar Real faces there you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah. people get to know you like i like and you you have the option to get up and you speak uh-huh that I never would get up. I think I spoke once. Why? I just, because I, first yeah. of all, I don't, public speaking is a, like, I didn't want a public speaker. Right. And then also what they're talking about, like they're, they're being very fucking open and honest about what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're challenges, they're fucking, they're pain and all that shit. And that was just weird for me. I was like, I don't, I don't I'm, not, I'm not going up from a bunch of strangers but and talking about. ultimately. I ultimately did. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it was, that was therapeutic because yeah. you're, you're facing the fear essentially. Right. But, um, yeah. What was your pain at that time? Um, I, what, what was my pain at the time? Like, I, I guess, I guess my my fucking uh, 
I guess my frustration with like the mistakes that I made, mm-hmm. like the fact that I had to cook one of those classes, and the fact of having to like maybe am I not dog? Mm-hmm. Are my are my habits bad? Is my behavior bad? Like, cause I used to like they said, hey, you're, you. How did you get the DUI? What was that situation like? Okay, so I was coming. I went. So I had a situation. Ah, uh, fucking it. <laughs> Fucking hey, I, I, I don't know if I want to get into this type get of shit. Get in it, and then if you don't want it, yeah. Then it. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so, I was in the Navy. It was like New Year's. No, it was New Year. It was like before the New Year, like right, right after New Year. So I was like, we was on like fucking break from the Navy. We, yeah. We had like this this uh, holiday period or whatnot. So you like you have a couple of days off. And I was, I wasn't dating this chick at the time, but like I was like seeing her like we were, like fucking around here every yeah. now and again. Her and another girl that I knew, she was a co-worker, they both came up to my house. Mm-hmm. My homeboy, they, my homeboy was like, was, they were staying with me at the time, cause like, he just divorced his wife and whatnot, mm-hmm. and he was like, he was crashing on my, on my couch and whatnot. That's, so like, he, he was with me there, and then like, these two girls came to the house. One of the girls I'd already had a little, kind of relationship with anyways, and the other chick was there, and like, we, we, was, we, was, we was all drunk, yeah, kicking it, and then the idea of a threesome come up. So I, I go in the room with both of them, Go in the room, shit's going down. Like I'm, me and the girl, like fucking doing whatever. Uh-huh. Other chick, she's there, she's watching. I like I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing, and I see, I see like a like my homegirl would not like, looking at us, and, like she's getting upset because of what's going on. Uh-huh. So I stop, I go to her, like, you cool? And then the chick who I'm doing stuff with, like, gets up and like she like leaves. So like, gets up, gets out of the room, and she leaves and like. But I'm not thinking anything of it. Yeah. The next morning, I get a phone call saying, um, so she's saying that she was raped. Wow. Yeah. So like, I'm like, are you serious right now? Uh-huh. I, she, maybe, I don't want to say that that was a malicious thing done. Yeah. She was dating someone at the command. I didn't know they were, I knew they were a friend. I didn't know that she was dating this dude at the command. Yeah. And like, they live like a fucking a block from me or some shit like that. Uh-huh. I'm thinking that maybe she went home, she's asking where you were, what, whatever's going on. And like, yeah. and she's like, instead of like saying that she, she had a threesome or she did whatever, she yeah. said, oh, this happened because she was drunk. I was drunk as well, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, that shit happened. I get a call from my command saying that she said that, she went to the hospital, watched, like, and Damn. boom, that, in, in the Navy, Soon as a sexual assault thing comes up, everything's investigated. They, they, they fucking came to my house, looked through my fucking house, yeah. got fingerprinted, got fucking in, like interrogated, all type of all that shit. Damn. Like and this fuck, I'm like, you you can't say I did something to you and not say she did. We're both in the room with you. Right. Like this 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 was something that went everybody was fucking. Yeah. And and it, as well, it, you you weren't trying to. It wasn't like I was fucking holding you down, pity like. Yeah. So I'm fucking feeling like, what is going on right now? I, I, th- I ultimately I think she like, she, she took it back. But sooner as that claim is made, it's they have to investigate. Yeah. And now I'm in my command. I get taken out. I get taken out of my fucking my, my section. Uh-huh. I, I get put on mids. So I'm on mid shift. So, so I can't associate with nobody. I'm just by myself. Like so, I do the mid shift. Come home and I'm fucking like depressed as fuck. Cause now mm-hmm. it's like, as soon as you have that title on you. It's like, as soon as you have that fucking kind of like energy towards your name, so everyone sees you different. Everyone sees you different. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, yeah, like, motherfucker. Like, I don't know. And like this, you have a command. It's like, it's, how long were you in the Navy at that time? I was uh, probably like six, seven years at that point. So like, everyone in the command, like I, I don't know what people are thinking. Some people are probably saying like, nah, he didn't do that shit. But for me, it's like it's clear. Like if she's there, she's like, no, he didn't do that shit. Yeah. But some people could still be like. I don't know. Yeah. You know I mean, but it's, it's it's still a bad Situation, thing to have yeah. associated with your name. So right. That shit like really fucked me. I was like, yo, I, I was I literally like, so I was stay in my room all day with the lights off, like just fucking like depressed as fuck. Damn. Like, like like really fucked up over. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like for sure. Just just because the energy was, energy was bad. Yeah. And then like, uh, and that I was like that for a couple. So that happened like during that fucking December January break. I caught my DUI in March. So that is those both pretty much. So so at the same time. exactly. So it's like boom that and okay yeah, that that, that shit happened like that the shit 
the DUI happened a couple months after, so I was getting a little more comfortable. I was like, I was like I'm not gonna fucking be down on myself all the time. I'm not gonna isolate myself anymore. Yeah. I want to go out. I, I've been fucking by myself for fucking mad long. So I went to um, I went to PB one night by myself, had a few drinks, and then I decided to go home. I was driving back home. I was fucking speeding home. Like yeah. I had a moment of just fucking like rage. I just went to fucking like I just floored that shit. I'm speeding and I see a car that looks like a fucking like a. Like a, it's like, a, like, a, it's like a taxi from a distance, and then, and then I fucking I get to that shit. It's a cop car. I try to fucking like hit my hit brakes. brakes. And, yeah, I slow uh, down. Did you but pass him? I, I hit my brakes before I passed him. But he already can. He already he, he already he see me coming. Yeah, he's just flying. How he, fast were you going? That's like a hundred. Oh, I, I was definitely going. I was definitely going like over a hundred. I was fucking because the street it was like one in the morning. The street's yeah. fucking clear. I'm fucking gunning that shit. I'm like I'm good. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Uh, like he does like the full sobriety, the whole fucking like uh-huh. feel, feel sobriety Push test or whatnot. Uh huh. And then he's like, you, you know they know when you're drunk. So as soon as they put that shit in your eye, yeah. and they fucking like it's that's one of the things they put like, if your eyes are too sluggish to like yeah, follow the lights and yeah. shit. So he knew I was drunk off the rip. Uh huh. But did you admit it or no? You tried yeah, yeah. I, 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 I said I said I had a few few drinks that's or whatnot. Good. So like, yeah, I still had to take you in. Yeah. Arrested me. I did not want to tell my command. Shit, I'm like, this already ha- this just right happened. Right after that, damn. I'm like, I'm- Two in a row, yeah, yo. first you do this, now you no, do no, this. No, no, I'm a piss, I got, there's, there's, yeah, more, there's more shit to this. <laughs> Sexual assault charge. Don't even say it. <laughs> Don't even then say it, like, get, like, that's why- that's Then why. you get the DUI, so a cop pulls you over, you're doing 100. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a, they take me to jail, obviously, uh-huh. and I didn't want to tell them that, like, I didn't want to fucking report it. Cause I could have got out immediately if I would have called my command. Mm-hmm. But I didn't want to tell my command. I'm like, yo, after, after that other shit, now this, yeah. they're not going to understand it. Like, yo, this guy's a fucking scumbag. Mm-hmm. It's a rap. So I didn't want to tell my command. So like, when they was like, you want to call your man? I'm like, nah. I just chilled. In the, they, they kept me in that shit like all the way until I didn't leave. I got there like maybe fucking like two in the morning on a Friday, no, on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't leave until like Sunday night. And like, like the, the other chick that was with me, mm-hmm. like when that whole shit went, she came and picked me up. Like, I, wanna, I ain't gonna say her name. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I fuck with you and I appreciate you. So, I also had my rating exam. So, like, the way we get, the way we make rank in the Navy mm-hmm. is by taking a test. Mm-hmm. Once you take your test, they, they, they take your evals into account and they'll, mm-hmm. they'll see if you advance to the next pay grade. Mm-hmm. I, I made rank first time up every time. 99 percentile, you can check my shit. Like, I've always scored pretty fucking high on those tests. And fucking made a rank first time up, so I had I had my first class test coming up, and for me it, I was like, okay, after all this shit that went down with this fucking this case that I yeah. whatever, I want to show them that I'm still on top of my shit. And I right. know my fucking job, so I've been studying for the fucking exam, and then this shit happens, the DOI shit happens, and I'm like, if they find out, I'm not, I won't even be able to take the fucking test. Mm-hmm. I cut that DOI Sunday, the very next week Thursday with the fucking rating exam. I didn't tell them. I took my written exam the ne- on Thursday. Mm-hmm. I had Mondays off. I get the call on Monday. It was like, um, we need you to come in. We just, did you get a DUI? Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck. Mm-hmm. Another dude in my command called a DUI, and the DMV sends, there's like a fucking blotter or whatnot. Like, they send a list of people who, who, who get DUIs out in uh-huh. town, and my name was on the list. And I didn't, the dude called the DUI, he told the command. They see my name on that fucking DUI list on the out in town. Call me in. So I didn't tell them. So it's would you have been able to get away with it if that other guy didn't get a DUI? I don't know. Mm. Maybe though, because the, the only one they checked do is because the other guy got he's, one. He's, the other guy got one. So wow. he, he gets his shit. They oh. see my name. They call me in, and we when you first sign into the command, they make you sign a fucking thing that says a self-reporting. That means if you get in trouble, if you get arrested out, if you are if you are detained out in town, you must self-report. Mm-hmm. They make you sign that when you come in. Right. I didn't self-report. So I got so boom. So so that should happen. Obviously in trouble. That that's when they signed me up for that fucking like that uh that class or whatnot, the alcohol class. And they didn't do they didn't captain's mask me, they didn't do anything until the results came out. Oh, your test says, results. I made it. <laughs> I made I made I passed the fucking test, uh-huh. made first class, my name on the fucking advancement list. Uh-huh. My master chief comes in, she's like, let you know that you made it. 
but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how, what's going to go down. Mm-hmm. They Cam's a mess me. My Cam's a happy. Cam's a mess is like a, a hearing, basically. Okay, oh. like, like when you get in trouble, you go to Cam's okay, mess. Okay. Cam's mess me. Talk about like talk, I had fucking um extra forty five days of extra duty. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? I, uh, excuse me, what else? So I like fuck. I had to stay behind and clean up and shit like that. Coming early, I had to fucking like coming on weekends and mm-hmm. fucking clean up shit. And then the CEO never even mentioned this to me. I found out after that he took my he took his recommendation because when you when you do your eval, they recommend you to advance. Uh huh. He took my recommendation, so like me advancing was taken away. So I never got to advance. So like he like okay, you, you made it. What? Because he found out about your he took him with my yeah. DUI. He yeah. Okay, this, yeah. But he didn't. But he didn't even tell me a cat that. I found out after that he, he took my shit. Oh. I was like, okay. Because they could have they, they could have busted me. They could have took my rank. They could have like because I was second class at the time. Uh huh. They could have take me from a second class to a fucking third class. Okay. Instead of that, he just took my recommendation, so I didn't make first class. But like. <laughs> it was just like I made rank first time of every fucking time in my, in my job, mm-hmm. and that shit got taken away because of the fucking. How deal. often do you guys do evals or like the to make rank? How often do you guys do that? Okay, so between airmen and third class, I think you gotta wait like a a year or some shit like that before uh-huh. you can take a third class test, and then you have to wait like nine months to take the third to the second, and then uh-huh. it's like. I think it's like two years between second and I, and I could be wrong. One I, to two years. Yeah, it, 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 you have to wait a certain amount of time yeah. before you can take take the test again. And but so you have one bad eval, but even with that, they take it away from you. You you have one bad eval because of it. so you you get a special eval for that fucking the captain's mask. That's one bad eval. Mm-hmm. Your next eval is not gonna be great yeah. because you're you're still making up for it. And you're, your, your next good eval is probably gonna be like your fucking third one after the incident. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. it's still gonna be some time before I can take the test, take the take, take the test again and actually make rank. Yeah. So like, obviously I'm fucking just disgruntled at this point. Like, yeah. It's like, what the fuck did I do so wrong in my life? It's a bad, it's a bad uh, couple <laughs> months. See, rough couple months. Yeah. Rough couple. But like, when I think about it now, if I would have made first class, I probably would never start. I would have stayed in the navy. If I would have made first class, I'd have been like 25 in first class. I would have stayed in the navy. So. Did you get out, or did you get kicked out, or what happened after that? Okay, cause it's this thing called Seaway. Uh-huh. It's a Seaway approval. So like, you get Seaway approved if you have good evals, right? So at that point, I was, I was doing, I was doing better. Like I wasn't fucking like a piece of shit after all that shit yeah. went down. You know what I'm saying? Like just did my 45 days of fucking yeah. duty and all that shit. It came down to Chiron. Do you want to reenlist? Mm-hmm. If you want to reenlist, we can act the CEO to write you a special eval so you can reenlist. Mm-hmm. And that, that's when I was like, do I want At this point, I have a sour taste in my mouth about the Navy. So it was, do you say you want to re-enlist? Or do you, do you not say anything and you just get out? But I need, I need to say something. I need to say something so they can write me a special email. Mm-hmm. I didn't say anything. I just like, I just let my time ride out. And I was like, fuck it. I, everything happened for a reason. Yeah. And, I, and I took that, I was like, I'm taking a risk to get out the Navy. I, I, I know a fucking job, li- job lined up. I know a major traffic controller. Yeah. I have I have my I have my CTO I have like qualifications so I can yeah. get a job at FAA but yeah. that and that's why I was so frantically trying to get my pro card before I got out the Navy uh, you know what I'm saying because like he was in a little rut kind of yeah basically yeah. I was like but me starting to compete that came from once once we go into AA class though like you know what maybe maybe I shouldn't buy a bottle just because because I, I would on my way back I would buy a bottle just to have in the house just if I wanted to fucking do something I have a bottle just to just low, low sit at night alcoholic hey, basically maybe. so so I know. <laughs> I can cut it's stuff okay. I can yeah. stop whatever I want. No, but I stopped buying alcohol in my house. I stopped having it at my house. Yeah. So right. even, even, right. to, even to this day, I don't have a yeah. bottle of alcohol at yeah, my yeah, house. Yeah. I don't. I, yeah. I just don't do it. So every that time. Was, how old were you at that point? What did that happen? Twenty four, still twenty four. Okay. So like, at that point, every time I wanted to drink, I would go to the gym. Because I felt, I felt, cause I, I definitely didn't want to drink. Oh, you went to the gym. You would be faded at the gym. No, no. Every time, every time. <laughs> every time I wanted to drink, I would go to the gym. So you wouldn't drink. So I wouldn't drink, cause like. Right. After the, I never want to drink after the gym. No. I never want to fucking like sit in my house and drink after the gym. Uh, I felt like you fucking yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Well, you wasted. It, you know what I'm saying? So I knew if I went to the gym, I wouldn't want to drink. So every time I wanted to drink, I would go to the gym. Uh-huh. So at this point, I'm fucking steady for a couple months now, and I'm fucking like. Looking kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm out here. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, so like, Marlon Moss had done a couple shows. He was fucking like Moss, Moss, yeah, Moss. exactly. 
Get your ass back here, man. Ma. Stop playing. Man, you gotta text him. Stop playing, Ma. Man. Stop playing games. Get your ass back. But like and like I'm like he fucking he was killing. He was, I think he like won overalls or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like he's. I, I think he went to a, I forgot what he, I think he, he was there. competing before you. Yeah. Okay. So like he I think he went to an X Y C. I seen like yeah he had his whole pitch. I think uh, Terry had his pitch on like a ballot. Uh huh. I said like this dude I, 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 I'm I'm at the you same guys work command. together. Okay. Yeah, we, we, at the same command. Yeah. So I'm like. That shit is dope. Yeah. Like, like he's a fucking crazy ass fucking. He has a crazy physique. Yeah. And I'm going to the gym for a couple months. Like, I can compete. I can, I can probably do this. You know what I'm saying? So I reached out to him like, yo, you got him proposing. You like mm-hmm. help him like what I should eat. You know what I mean? Just give me yeah. some tips. And he helped. Like he nice. fucking he came, posed with me. He Good fucking dude. worked out with yeah. me. Like, and, and that's why to, to this fucking day, like, I always like we, we we both made it to Olympia our first time together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I was like, and that that shit was dope. It was like, yo, we. It's gonna go ham. It's yeah. gonna go fucking ham in the fucking industry. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like that, that's still my fucking dog. I haven't spoken to him like since May, I think. Uh-huh. But like he, that, that was my, and that's that's the reason why I joined Fidel. Right. Pretty right. much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and so that's what led to me competing. So I was going to the gym heavily for a couple months at that point. He helped me out with my fucking like first show, my second show, even with even with uh, USA. He helped mm-hmm. me out with. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell me what I should eat, with him what I should do. Yeah. Yeah. So I so I, so I, I, I give I give a lot of credit to him, like helping nice. me fucking yeah. initially. You know what I'm saying? How do you want people to remember you? I want people to be like, I want people to be motivated by me. I want people to be inspired by me. I don't know if that's like I no. to say. I want people to be inspired no, by me. I, no, that's like, good. Like, I, like a fucking, like a, like a, <laughs> I just, I just want to be you know, like a dope person. Like the motherfucker had depth. Mm-hmm. He busts his ass. He worked. He grinded. He went through shit. Like, just like a like a dope person. You know what I mean? Like, like the, he, he was a, a solid individual. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like that, that's how I want to be known. Just like a mm-hmm. solid ass individual. You know what I mean? So if you had one thing you can prescribe to everybody in the world for 30 days straight and they had to do it for 30 days straight what would it be anything like, anything, like, anything. Like, it could be a mad yeah anything breathe breathe well, we were, they already do that though like something you can prescribe like that you can make to do like to, it, okay breathe like i'm talking about like deep breath like we like be- meditation type. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, like deep, like deep breathing, like deep breathing meditation type okay. shit. I'll, I'll prescribe that and, and go to the go to the fucking gym. That shit, it does yeah. a lot. It does a like. Yeah. That's two things, but I, breathing and going to the meditation like, is. Uh, I agree. I just started meditating. Yeah. And that it helps a lot. Yeah, it, so. it, 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 when, when I say breathe, it's yeah, pretty much meditation because right. you're you're making yourself you're you're focusing on one thing and you're keeping your mind as clear as you can. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty much meditation though. Yeah. The gym sometimes is meditation because you are focused on your body. If you are like really committed to like working out and committed to the set, committed to fucking like muscle, mind, muscle mm-hmm. connection, that's meditation because yeah. you're very constantly, it, 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 it will block other thoughts out if mm-hmm. you're really committed to your workout. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So yeah, I, I breathing mm-hmm. and go to the gym, work out, work your body out because I, I buy your, like, your mind functions better when your body is active because we're made to be active. Right. You know what I'm saying? I agree. So we got the Arnold coming up about what two three weeks. Uh, it's it's less it's less than two weeks now. What is it? What's the date? The twenty third. What is that? Oh yeah, it's like yeah, it was two it's weeks right? here. Two weeks, basically. Yeah, yeah, weekend. two weeks, two weeks. Two weeks. Um, predictions. My prediction. What do you think? What you think? Andre won it. What the past two years? Yeah. So he's Holy back to fuck back. Fuck, he's up. Yeah, he's back to back. Holy shit. Brandon's looking good. Um. Honestly, I think it's gonna be between Andre and Brandon. Mm-hmm. I think who could sneak up in there is George. Yeah, I, I would He's say a that. Sleeper. I would say yo. If George can come in a little bit harder, I'm a, a little I'm bit a, harder. I think he can come in there and man, possibly man, steal the show. But turn that shit up. But turn that <laughs> shit up. But I'm a fan of of like niggas doubting you. Yeah. Turn up. I, I'm always I the like, underdog. If, if you, I'm if, always if, the underdog. And people are kind of like. Uh, George Brown, what are you talking about? Yeah. I kinda want him to take it. I kinda yeah. want him to take it. I think I think Brandon is coming in fucking solid. I think he knows what he fucked up. Yeah. At Olympia. Yeah. I think Andre is like Andre's looking good. He's they're he, both it, it's gonna be a show. He and, and, and Andre's looking better than he than he, he has yeah, in a this, long this time. This is the, I feel like this is gonna be Andre's best look. For like, sure. like, like he put on some muscle, he's getting yeah. a little size. Yeah. You know? Um who else is doing it? I think Stephen Cow will be in the lineup. He got six last year. No, he didn't. He didn't? No. What year was that? Was, two yeah, years ago. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, so he that's, didn't do it last year? He didn't do it last year. Oh, it was two years ago. I but think, he's I, doing it this year. I think he'll be in the I lineup. think Kaiki going to fucking... Kaiki. Kaiki he's go a sleeper. He'll go ahead. He'll, he'll, definitely, he'll definitely be up there. 
Anthony going to I think that's my, that's my uh, top five. Top five? It'll be Andre, Brandon, George, Kaiki, and Anthony. Okay. That's my top five. Anthony looks fucking like sad as fuck. Anthony, 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 I mean, he'll, shit, he he'll got what, right seventh at Olympia yeah. this year. And that's the first Anthony, year. Yeah, first, first year Olympia seventh. That's shout out to Anthony. That's yeah. Like, props. So, um, so I think Anthony will actually be able to. If, 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 if George Brown don't do, if yeah, George if Brown don't do what we, yeah, we yeah. fucking <laughs> want him to do right now. He going to fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll yeah. put I'll put Anthony behind Brandon and Andre Andre yeah. Brandon, and I'll put Anthony there. But if Brand if fucking George, if George turns it up a little bit, it'll be a top three. If he don't, he gonna be in like fifth or sixth. <laughs> That's just my prediction. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a good show. I can't wait for that one. Um, yeah. What else? Um, Anything else? Shit, I'm trying. I'm trying to see. I'm trying. I'm not trying to fucking like. It's, 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 Who else is Ch- Chala doing fucking? I don't know. Chala has an amazing physique. Man, that motherfucker's like... He's, I, he's nasty. That, that last show was like... He's, he looks good. freakish. I think, one classic, thing, I think one thing Chala needs to work on is just posing. Yeah. That, that, if he can get his stage presen- presence right, I, th- I, I, I pose think, a little bit better. Do you see his posing for, for that last the one in Columbia? Uh-huh. I think his posing got better. Did it? I think his posing got better. Um, and his midsection was tighter. Yeah. His, so, his, his structure and his muscle ability. I'm like... Conditioning, like... I'm just, I'm just waiting for him to good. push him to classic. <laughs> yeah, he, he can. No, he's solid. You see, he's solid. Who else is doing that? It's a, it's not that big. It's a, it's a, what, oh 12, shit. 15? Get, uh, it's, oh, X, 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 X is X, doing X, it. Yeah. Oh fuck, I can't, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, there's, it's gonna be. Oh fun. shit, cause, yeah. X can be in that top line. Yeah, he definitely, definitely can. He, he will do it, yeah. Turn that shit up. He be, he be, he be, he be kind of quiet too. He be kind of yeah, like, yeah. not, not he, posting too much. He been, he been chilling. He's always a little key, yeah. Well. That concludes our first, first episode, episode of the Winergy Podcast. Thank you all for listening. We'll see you guys at the next one. Yeah, there Peace. Is.